if you're using a universal Apollo on Windows and you're trying to use applications like Discord, in-game voice chats, Teams, the issue when you use two channels is Windows sees both of these and it uses both of them. If we just want to use one, we're going to have to do some setup and configuration. For me, my mic is coming in on Analog 2, hitting some plugins, going on Line 3 out to some outboard gear, and then coming back into Analog 1. By default, Windows programs will end up sounding like this. Windows will combine both of these channels together and you can't select just one on certain applications. There's quite a few tutorials out there on how to fix this. They mostly involve using some other programs like QJack and um, ASIO Link Tool. We don't need to do any of that stuff and that's just more stuff to go wrong in your chain. That's unnecessary. So we're going to start by downloading VB Audio's voice meter. There's lots of other videos on how to configure this. We just need the base voice meter. You can get the banana or the potato version or even the coconut if you need to do some other stuff as well. But we just need the basic one here. So download and install this and reboot your PC. It tells you you need to reboot. Yes, you need to reboot. Once we have voice meter downloaded and running, we're going to do one quick check and make sure it's the 64-bit version running here. By default, mine was running in 32-bit. And if it's running in 32-bit, we're not going to be able to see the ASIO drivers for the Universal Audio Apollo. So to start, we're going to go on A1 Hardware Out button, and we're going to go down to ASIO. You want to select your Universal Audio USB if you're using USB, or you can use Thunderbolt if you are using uh, some sort of conversion card. Once you have that selected, we can exit out, and we're going to want to go down to Menu, System Settings, if you don't see this here, the out A1 main device, patch ASIO, double check that you're running the 64-bit version. So here we're going to want to configure patch ASIO inputs into strips. We're going to want to set it to just 1-1. One, one. That's because I am just wanting to use my return input here, analog 1, but you can set it to 2-2 two, two if you wanted to just grab analog 2, depending which way you have this set up. Once that's selected, we're going to want to go back to the voice meter program and you're going to want to unselect every one of these buttons that are selected. Some will be selected by default. We just want B. And you can see here on virtual out, this is now our output and that's feeding directly from analog one and it's ignoring analog two here. Now that this is set up, you need to set your Windows applications to use this output. It'll be voice meter out B1. If you go to your advanced sound settings, you can see there's quite a few. Personally, I disabled them because I don't need them and I don't want them to show up. But you can set it as a default if you want everything on Windows to use it, or you can set specifically Discord to use just B1. On playback, you can also remove all of these other voice meter outputs if you're not using them, depending how you have voice meter configured. And that should fix a Discord specifically not working on Windows with your Apollo device. If you want to always run these settings, you're going to want to play with some of the menu settings here. You're going to click Menu, Save Settings, and save the XML file for your current setup if you want to keep it that way. You want to make sure Load Settings on Startup is checked. And then you also want to run on Windows Startup. You can do System Tray as well if you don't want it to physically open. One last thing you might want to check is to ensure that you're using 48 kilohertz or 44.1 kilohertz throughout all of the different uh, steps here. So in your Universal Apollo uh, settings, you're going to want to make sure whatever the sample rate is here, that voice meter is also matching that here. So that's matching. You're going to want to, if they're different, you're going to want to change it. You're going to run into a lot of issues if you're running something else on Discord.